In this video, I would demonstrate how to perform the ANOVA, or Analysis of Variance, single factor tool. This tool tests for differences between the means of two or more groups. In this case, the data we're working with are three groups of individuals in a, that were eating in a restaurant, and they were given one of three types of menus. One that does, did not have calorie designations on each of the menu items, one group that did have calorie designations on each of the menu items, and then the third group had labels that would indicate how many minutes of exercise would be needed to burn the calories in a particular menu item. And then the outcome that was tracked were how many calories uh, they actually ordered. In other words, the menu items they ordered, how many calories did that uh, come to? And so we're going to try and see if each of these different menu options produce differences in the calorie counts of the foods that were ordered. So in order to perform this analysis, we need to go to the Data tab and the Data Analysis menu. And we're going to find the ANOVA Single Factor Option Analysis Tool. Highlight that, click OK. So our first step is to highlight the data that we want to uh, be included in the analysis. So we click on the Ref Edit button, and then we highlight all of the columns, including the labels, that have the data that we wish to be analyzed. And then we click either the Enter or the Ref Edit button. And in this case, we have our data arranged in columns. So we want to make sure that that radio button is checked, data arranged in columns. And then we also want to check the box labels in first row so that we can have each of our data sets labeled in the output table. We're going to test the hypothesis that these groups are not different from one another using the alpha level of 0.05. So again, this could be changed depending on how you want to analyze this particular group of data. We then want to indicate the output range in which we want our table to be placed. So we click on the ref edit button, click here, either enter or ref edit, and so our table is going to be placed right here, our output table. So once that's done, we can go ahead and click OK. As you can see, we've got a large table here, so in order to see this a little bit better, we can go back to the Home menu, go to the Cells area and click on Format, and then click Auto Fit Column Width, and it will make that table a lot easier to read. So what we'll be able to see here then is the average uh, calorie count for each of our three groups. So without labels was 899, with labels was 827, and with the exercise labels was 768. So what we're going to determine is whether or not these differences are statistically significant at the alpha level of 0.05. So the values we're interested in are the F value. And we can see here's our F value of, of 57.49. And then our critical value for F is 2.47. So we can see that this value exceeds the critical value. And then we can see the P value associated with that F score. And that's well, well below 0.05. And so we'd be able to state that the difference between the three groups is statistically significant. And we'd be able to reject that null hypothesis and say that there is a difference among the three groups at a statistically significant level. So hopefully you've learned something from this video and good luck using this technique on your own.